So here are five things you should know if you are planning on visiting Isla Mujeres or taking a day trip there. The first thing, and it's kind of obvious, but it's worth mentioning, and that is the only way to get to Isla Mujeres is via boat or by the ferry. So if you are planning on staying on the island, they do not have its own airport, at least not for commercial flights. So you would have to fly into Cancun take transportation to the ferry stop or to the port if you are getting a private boat transfer and get to the island that way. Now, if you wanna just go for the day, there are a lot of different options out there and I've done almost all of them. So one I mentioned is you would just go to the ferry yourself, take the ferry over and explore the island on your own. But there are so many different types of excursions that you could take there as well with a tour company. And you could also arrange a private boat tour or transfer to the island, which we have done as well. So I will put all of the videos about Isla Mujeres that I've done in the description, along with the links to the excursions. So now that you know how to get there, the second thing that you should know is that this is a very small island. So I'm talking only about four to five miles long. But don't let the size of this island fool you because there is so much to do on this island. And in fact, I personally have not even begun to explore everything that Isla Mujeres has to offer. And it's also home to one of the best beaches in the entire world, Playa Norte. Which leads me to the third thing you should know about Isla Mujeres is because it is so small, it can get very crowded. And in fact, the very first time that I visited Isla Mujeres, I really actually did not like it because it was overcrowded. I also did not do enough research on where exactly to go. And it was just really overwhelming for me in general. And I go into more details about this in my other videos, but in general, I would say just be aware of the peak season, also the peak times during the day of when and when not to take the ferry. We fell into this mistake. We left right at five o'clock, six o'clock when everybody else wanted to leave. So there were long lines just to get back on the ferry. And just do some planning before you actually go to the island. I wish that was one thing that I had done my first time. Even though I thought I had done some research, I really didn't know what to do once I got there. So I think that was another reason why I was overwhelmed and then just wanted to leave. And if you've been to Isla Mujeres, we would love some of your recommendations of things to do on the island. So drop them in the comment section below. And also in the other video I did about Isla Mujeres, there are a ton of recommendations in that comment section as well. Number four is a very common tip, and that is consider renting a golf cart when you arrive to the island to explore. The price is around $50 to $60 for an entire day. You can also break it down to half day and hourly if you don't plan on spending that much time on the island. Just make sure to bring your driver's license, and I would even recommend reserving this in advance because when we got there, we got the last golf cart and lots of times they do sell out. Also know where you are renting from. Look at the map because if you are renting from someplace that is a little bit further away from the ferry stop, you might have to take a bus or a taxi to pick up the golf cart. And like I mentioned, do some planning of some places that you'd like to stop and see along the way, which is what we did not do. So we basically just got in the cart and drove from one side of the island to the other without seeing very much or knowing where to stop or what to see. Another thing to know is be prepared for the free for all that's in the roads at Isla Mujeres. So it was a little crazy driving the golf cart, I have to say. There's motorcycles, golf carts, buses, cars. And again, it's kind of a free for all. So just be prepared for that. And most places you can just pull over the golf cart, take the key out and leave the golf cart right on the side of the road. Just do not lose that key. Number five is that it is a very touristy area. And like I mentioned, it can get very crowded. So with that, you definitely have to be on guard for pickpocketing or theft and scams. Now we didn't have any major issues with that, except we got in the heart of the shopping and restaurant district near Playa Norte, where people will be shouting at you to come into their stores, trying to negotiate and bargain, or even get you into their restaurants. So we just refrained from shopping altogether. We really didn't want to carry anything back anyway. And again, just do your research about the restaurants. There's so many amazing restaurants on Isla Mujeres. You just have to do some research ahead of time to pick the right ones. And you may want to consider bringing pesos. We brought US dollars, but I have read that sometimes you do get better prices if you pay in pesos. 
With that being said, Isla Mujeres has so much natural beauty that you'll want to explore away from the tourist areas as well. I know Playa Norte is the main attraction and that's where we were going the first time, but I wish we would have done more research because we really missed a lot when we went to the island. There's lesser known places like Punta Sur and so many different things that you can experience even in one day. Another great resource to find things to do on Isla Mujeres is Viator.com. This is where we book all of our excursions. It's now one of our travel partners and it just takes a really easy search and putting in the dates of when you're gonna be there and it populates all of the available options of things to do and you can read the reviews so you can find a reputable tour operator. So I hope this quick video about Isla Mujeres helps you prepare for your trip there and avoid the mistakes that we made on our first time going there. And if you've been to Isla Mujeres, I know some of my subscribers even live there, Please add any other tips in the comment section below, and I do respond to all comments and questions. And if you are new to our channel, Three Days and Tres Noches, we bring you honest reviews, travel tips, and information about the destinations that we go to and show you you can have an amazing vacation in a really short amount of time. So please like and subscribe and keep following us. You can also find us on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok, and I will put all of the links and more information in the description below.